Okay, let's put this all together, starting with the Y1 light. So this is my ND filter, remanufactured from a sunglass lens, as you might pick. So what I have here is, I put this in the bottom, slide this in here, or coming from the side, the lens side. Just pick it up. So it'll fit in there. And then I can reach through the top to start it. And the trick is in the bottom I've got that uh, plastic bar. I used aluminium first time round and that's where I managed to break the screen on the on the back of the other camera. You want something with a bit of give in it. So the next trick is the uh, Ishin EX2 has is fitted out with four rubber bands, one hanging off each arm, and that allows me to um, if I can do it right, something like this. Let's put it on its back. Okay. One. That one's there. And now I've got the uh, the Y1 light, poor man's GoPro, because it's got electronic stabilisation, firmly secured to the uh, the EX2. We'll bug three mini. Tilt it down a bit so you don't get the legs in the way I did on my first test flight, and uh, that's how that works. Now having a look at the other option with the uh, the little Quilema S12, which is 
an inferior camera, but then it only cost less than 20 bucks. Uh, so it's not bad, it's 1080p, or it's, it's actually it's below that, it's natural natural setting, but uh, it still does a reasonable job as long as your light's about right, otherwise you wind up with purpley colours, but uh, that's the way I do that one. And then to attach it, it just goes under there like that, and this time I use um, a Velcro strap. Uh, how will that go through? Yeah, like that. So the strap just goes through there. Something like that. What I found with this though is you want to get it right up the front to balance it because these things, the X2 and the Bucks 3 Mini tend to be tile heavy. And that's enough to get uh, good quality video. The foam not only protects the camera, it dampens it down a bit. So that's uh, this is showing you quickly two different ways to get uh, 1080p or near enough footage from cameras. And when a camera this size turns up with EIS, um, I can do it for under that magic 250 grams. So that's what I'm messing around with today.